Good morning, Warsaw. Good morning, Professor Tal. Good morning, Professor Zarichny. I have rather a uh, met mathematical question. So you described many methods of uh, proofs of uh, results in number theory, but I am interested in methods of work. So uh, we know that you are involved in this polymath project, right? And this polymath uh, produced it, uh, basically this improvement of uh, small gaps, etc., etc. So your uh, opinion about um, this work of polymath, this is, is, it, is it the future of uh, mathematical work of scientists, uh, or it is just uh, your personal uh, some experience? Um, so so these, these online collaborative projects, I, they have a place. Um, I think there's a certain small fraction of mathematical projects for which this is a good um, paradigm. But I think for the vast majority of projects, sort of the traditional paradigm of having one or two or three people work rather than 100 people, um, is, is better. So um, the type of projects where polymath is effective is if, uh, um, if it's a project that can, can, can kind of be split up into many somewhat decoupled components and so different groups of people can work on, on, on different portions of it. Um, and if you need to c combine ideas from very different fields, and maybe if you don't, if you don't quite know in advance which, um, uh, what type of expertise is needed, so for, for, for this polymath project, it was not clear to us initially that uh, so this was a number theory project to get the, the, the prime gap, um, gap between primes down. Uh, it was not clear at the beginning that we needed experts in optimizing multilinear integral functional um, 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 quantities. And, but we had people eventually join us to, to help us with that. And we needed people with, with lots of computing power. And, 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 and at, one point, at one point, we also needed people who could do, understand the algebraic geometry needed to understand uh, Zhang's Theory and so, forth. so if you need a project that brings together expertise, um, you know, I mean, ideally when you collaborate with two or three people, you know, the people you collaborate with already have, between the, the three of you already have all the expertise you need, but, but um, if you're in a situation where that's not the case, uh, then you may need uh, some sort of broader collaboration. Um, the other thing that helped with the Polymath project was that there was this very visible measure of progress, which is this, 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 um, this upper bound of prime gaps. And, and so this number sort of, and, and it, was a, it was a decreasing sequence of natural numbers, so it had to terminate, actually. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we had a, so you, there was a very clear metric of progress, and there's a clear sort of place where it would stop. Um, um, you know, with, with other projects, I think it, it would be a lot less clear to sort of gauge what contributions of different people are actually helping and which ones are not. Um, so, yeah, it, it helps to have a very well-defined goal with some sort of metric. Ideally, a decreasing natural number is a good, is a, good uh, is a particularly good metric. Um, but, um, yeah, but most projects are not of this 